an officer of the police at a nose. Really? Hmm. Hey, Unispirit, you're here already, right? Right? Yeah, you were here. Da da da. I truck. Seems like the fire boys arrived a little too late to the barbecue. I better not. I have to find the doll first. The doll. Wish it could shed some light on this freaking case. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Boo. Sam Blabbermouth Murphy, Paper City's top news hound. Two stupid dogs. Oh, no, it's cow and chicken. There's that guy, that one cop. What was his name again? These guys sure don't have it easy with that fire starter roaming the city. Oh, look! The fire truck has, has like this wind up key on it, see? Seems like the That's fire cute. boys arrived a little too late to the barbecue. Mm hmm. Hmm. There must be a gambling joint nearby. Oh. That's right, there is. Exordium sweatshop? Exordium are the developers. <laughs> okay. So, is it like a sauna? I don't... What is it? <laughs> Canadian cub. For the bear in the know who enjoys a good blend. It's like it's talking to me personally. Anything else? Let's talk to these guys. Please move away, sir. This here is a crime scene. Oh, okay. For a second there, I thought it was an accident. God damn it, Dudley. What? The official statement, man. Oh, yeah. Um, please move away, sir. There's been a terrible accident. Sure, sure. You guys mind if I have a quick chat with your fellow police officer there, Bradley? Uh, Brian? That's what I said. No one's allowed. Okay, never mind. I see locks here. Seems strange he would come down to investigate an accident. The commissioner's here because of the press. It's better if he deals with the media himself. I can imagine. Hey, buddy, who the hell are you anyways? Me? Oh. I was just on my way to work when I saw the sky light up like a goddamn 4th of July, you know? And what is it that you do exactly? Uh... I'm a lawyer. Another one? You people are like vultures. Hey, well, yeah. I'm actually with you on this one. I'm an extra. I take these gigs on the side to kickstart my acting career. An actor, hmm? Anything we might have seen. You watch a lot of Indonesian cinema? Is that even a thing? I'll just pretend <laughs> I didn't hear that, savages. <laughs> I take vacations instead of other people. I take their money, go on a vacation, and send them a bunch of photos. My clients swear it's like they went there themselves. Oh, that sounds great. Man, I wish I had some money to pay you to go somewhere. I always wanted for someone else to visit China instead of me. I hear they have dragons there. <laughs> okay, bye. There's that guy. Hey, where do you think you're going? Mm. I have a sword. No time for a sword fight. Although I'd totally win. Totally. Do you win some carrot juice? I don't think so, pal. Eh, okay. I'll talk to you for a bit then. No, little dark child. I'll go on my own vacation. You have any dirt on those two idiots by the site? <laughs> Just anything. <laughs> well, the one on the left is Dudley. He got married recently. His wife, Mary, works over at Paper City General as a nurse. The other one is Bob. He was the best man at Dudley's wedding. Rumor has it Mary and Bob used to date in high school. Well, that's an angle if I ever saw one. Do your worst, buddy. What? Any luck? I'm getting to it. Okay. So, buddy, who the hell are you? I work over at the Paper City General. Really? My wife works there, too. Uh, do you know her? What's her name? Mary. Mary Robbins. She's a... A nurse. I know Mary. Such a sweet girl. She's always telling me about you, Bob. You're a lucky guy, let me tell you. Yeah, she is. And, uh, wait. 
Bob? My name's Dudley. He's Bob. What the hell? Oh, boy. I'm sorry. She's always telling me about her high school sweetheart and how he's so handsome, and I just thought, you know what? Forget I said anything. Mary said I'm handsome, huh? Uh-oh. Come on, man. It doesn't mean anything. I mean, it could have been any number of Mary Robbins down at the Paper City General who are married and think their high school boyfriends are handsome still. Yeah, I guess you're right. Denial, man. Look it up. Idiots. So, what are your plans now? I'm actually going to China. I hear they have dragons there. That's a must, if you ask me. Oh, no. You're going there? Really? I'm so jealous, I want to murder you. Just kidding. But, but no, really, can you bring me back some photos? I would love to see them, man. You got it, pal. Consider it done. Great! You're such a great guy. Hey, Nalix of Asgard. Hello. I'm heading down to the sunny sandbox beach. I hear it's really something. Uh, something? It's a beach, pal. I mean... What? I might go to Backyard Town. Now that Bruno the dog is gone, the place has really flourished, you know. Yeah, I hear it's great down there now. Yeah, I probably have to talk to the fresh guy again. What else you got? Nothing, Sam. The married one is a complete idiot. Well, here's a scoop, Stoop. It seems Mary went to visit her relatives two weeks ago down to Cardboardville. She went alone. Mm -hmm. The plot thickens. Coincidentally, Bob went there on some two-day seminar called The Amazing World of Bubbles that same weekend. Now. I'm not a gambling man, but if I were... <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Here goes nothing. Well, well, well. Oh, it's you again. Ruined any marriages in the meantime, bud? What? Oh, no. I was just leaving and wanted to say goodbye. Going on someone else's vacation? I'm going down to Cardboardville to attend some seminar. Mary's always talking about that place. She went down there two weeks ago, and she brought the best saltwater taffy this side of Dredge River. Let me tell you. Oh, yeah, I know. And check this. Bob was there a couple of weeks ago as well. He was attending that, uh, Bubbles seminar. Didn't you, Bob? Um, yeah, it was only okay, though, um... Small world indeed. <laughs> Hi, Queen. Hi, Queen. Oh, come on. Really? Nothing? <sighs> My paper. Right. Oh, for the love of... Mary's having an affair with Bob here, you stupid idiot. I mean... Smooth, Ted! <laughs> I'm sorry, Sam. This was getting ridiculous. <laughs> Bob, is this true? What? Um, no. Come on, man. Who are you going to believe? Your best man or some... some lawyer slash actor? I knew it! I... Seriously doubt that. You were always so jealous of me. You just couldn't let me have her, could you? Jealous of you? Don't make me laugh. Besides, she told me she only married you for the money. Money? You son of a... Uh-oh. Ow. Well then. Paper City's finest, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, baby. Oh, no. What's going on over there? Those two, they're just horsing around. Mr. Okay. Bear, surprised to see you here. Hey there, you. It's Brian, sir. Brian, sure, I knew that. Anyways, what an unfortunate accident, am I right? Accident? Um, sure. Listen, was anyone here when this accident went down? You're worried about Miss Ashworth? Huh, worried? Don't get smart with me, Chief. Now... Was anyone here is what I'm asking. Only Mr. King and some of his associates. They all made it out in time, though. Seems like Mr. King cut the gala short and escorted everyone out at some point. It's almost like he was expecting this to happen. Huh, weird. And, um... Miss Ashworth? You know, sure, whatever. Fortunately, Miss wasn't here at the time. Any idea where she is? Last I've heard, she was seen at the Paper City Harbor, taking a cab to King's Island. Harbor? What's her game? Now, I'm not sure, Mr. Bear. But it seems to me Miss is following Mr. King and his associates. God damn it. She's still looking for Tiger and Jones. This can't end well. Oh, I'll say. Um, Mr. Bear, I'm not supposed to share this information with you, but 
Something big is going down at the king's place later tonight. It would be better if you hurry on down there before... Before what? The commissioner is planning. Hey, what's going on down there? Hello. Brian, son, go and stop those two idiots. This is not a place for horsing around. Right away, sir. I'm sorry, Mr. Bear. I have to go. Wait, Sport, what no. were you... Quit Ted, eating. what are you doing here? This is still under official investigation. You know the rules. Steve, lose the S. Don't worry about Try me, Sarge. I'm there just passing through. Going somewhere in particular? I'm going down to Kokomo. Kokomo? Yeah. My plan is to get there fast and then just take it slow. You know. Stop being such a wise guy, Ted. <laughs> it's not good for your health. <laughs> if I had a nickel. You'd probably drink it down. Move along now. There's nothing to see here. Can't really tell if this is your official statement or just your apathy talking. Yeah. I suggest you walk away if you don't want to spend the night in the slammer snoop. Resorting to threats, are we? I hope I've made my point. See you around, Sarge. My regards to the missus. Quinn, just stop biting me, please. I know it's a lot of bites, but you're hurting me a bit. Hey. There you go, that's much better. Who are you? Um, Mr. Taxi Driver, will you wait for me? Keep the meter running and that stuff. Why are you whispering, little wench? I'm here incognito. I mean, it's a stealthy mission, you know? Ah, but there's no one around. Oh, right. <clears throat> Anyways. Anyways, I'll be here. It's all the same to me where I get drunk. Don't look at it like that. Action. The it's choice okay. of ambiance is very important in creating the atmosphere or foundation, if you will. Which then, in turn, creates a mood more suitable for relaxation, or the main floor, figuratively speaking. And after all the requirements have been met, on the very top, or the roof, relaxation helps in the absorption and digestion of alcohol. So, you know, it's not, really. You know, you've spoken more words right now than my wife in 40 years of marriage. I'll take that as a compliment. What was that? <laughs> what was what? I thought I heard something. You <laughs> sure it wasn't you? No. I didn't hear anything, but I think I'm in some kind of sonic shock still. I guess. <laughs> See you later. Bye. <laughs> sonic shock. Okay. Also, you're a hammerhead shark with a wooden leg. Okay, that's it. Quinn, what are you doing? Sweetie, can you just... Okay. It, uh, what are you doing? Okay, Quinn is trying to find a spot and is having some difficulties. Hello, could you get off my arm? I need my arm. Is your spot... Is your spot gone? Oh, sweetie. Oh, okay. No, there you go. We found a spot. <laughs> Jack. Yes, okay. I love you too. I do. We need so many attentions right now. Goodness me. It's really pimped up for a duck. Yeah, it is. Sharky. I should hurry before he gets too drunk to drive me back. Mr. Cab Driver, I might need some help. Isn't that a song? It is, but I could use some help. Oh, no, Lassie. I am not getting caught up in whatever this is. Alas, Mr. Cab Driver only thinks about himself. I'll be right here. Carpe venom and all that. <laughs> Pat the cat? I, I, I don't have a choice at this point. <laughs> Looks like the tip of a boat hook. Take it. Take it with you. It's all yours now. Also, take his wooden leg. He's a shark. He can swim. Take a rope. It's a piece of sailor's rope. Check it. Mine now. <gasps> Hope I'll find some use for it. Oh. Okay. Let's see that mention. Is there anything else? I'm guessing that the front entrance is not the bestest idea. I should sneak around the back. Bestest idea. Okay, let's go. So much washing you do. Are you such a dirty boy? Are you a dirty boy? <laughs> Take your time, Emmer. Okay. Zen rocks? Ooh. Oh, I love these stones that you pile up and then relax next to. They rock. They rock. Take them. 
More room. Your pauses are getting so big. Yes, they are. Such huge pauses. Ugh, who knew rocks would be this heavy? No, and why do we need them? Just asking. Well, well, well. <laughs> Poo! <laughs> Poo! Bucket? Can we have the bucket? Ted would probably kick it if he was here. He's so clumsy. Take the bucket. I feel like MacGyver. McAmber. McAmber. Reminds me of the ones in Mayor's Mansion. Maybe it's the same artist, or the same gray market art dealer? <laughs> Um, it should really be heavy enough now. Sure. Hope this will hold. Sure. That's wildly unsafe. I don't know what I'm doing, so... Excuse me. There. It packs quite some force now. Why am I doing this? Oh, jeez. A wine cellar. Well, I got that hooked. But I'm there. Now I need to pull that somehow. Push the bucket. I easy. mean, that was just insanely loud. It'll be a miracle if they didn't hear that. Anyone? Anyone? No? Cool. To the wine cellar! You know that's where I'm gonna stay, right? That's no wine cellar. There's wow. a staircase there. Should we go up, Ted? It's not uh, sure thing, doll. You know, I'm so grumpy all the time and stuff. Right. Come on, Ted. Cheer up. We got this. It's your call, doll. You are always much smarter than me. I'm just, like, a stupid bear, you know? Hey. I know. It's okay. I still love you. Oh, boy. Snooping around, girl. Hi. You're spending too much time with that bear of yours. Whom I'm spending my time with is none of your business, um, Mr. King. <laughs> Sharp tongue you got there. You're becoming more and more like Ted with each day. Ugh, I hope not. Trouble down at the agency? He left me. Probably went somewhere to get drunk and bore someone to death with his make-believe problems. I'm sorry to hear that. But you see, everything ends eventually. There's a major concern regarding you and the Red Man girl. Why do you think he's after you? I... I don't know. He's done something to my brother and now he wants to get me too. And I know you wanted to hand me over to him. Why? I'm not a good man, girl. All my life, I was on the wrong side of the fins. When the Red Men came down to Paper City, it soon became very clear there's no stopping him. You see, I thought I could make the best out of a hopeless situation. So you made a deal with him? We tried, but it wasn't right. Seeing you again after all that time reminded me, in a way, who we owe our debts to. What do you mean? You made this city, girl. We should stand with you and try to fight off this menace together. But you can only face him when you're ready. So it's best to take you out of the city until then. If you stay here for too long... I'm not leaving. It's for your own good. Don't tell me what's good for me. You tried to sell me down the river. It was a mistake on my part. I see that now. But you have to trust me. 
Why would I trust you now? What's changed? Can't you see? The end is coming. Our world will burn. No, no. No way around it. So you thought you could make up for the lifetime of wrongdoing by making a stand at the end? Seems a bit hypocritical if you ask me. Is there a deadline on repentance? I... Where's Tigrin? I need to talk to her. Tigrin is long gone, girl. She's not coming back. Not any time soon, at least. What did you do to her? <sighs> Who do you take me for? She left on her own. It's what she does. You care for her. I did. Once. So you didn't send your men to kidnap her? Of course not. I sent them there to recover my candle and... It's the police! Mm. They followed you here. Go downstairs and hide. Why would I hide? I did nothing wrong. They're not here because of me, girl. What do you mean? Mill sent his lackeys to get you. King, we have your place surrounded. We know the girl's in there. Hand her over and no one has to get hurt. Uh -oh. Well, seems like a good time to make your stand now. <laughs> Goodbye, girl. Don't ever grow up. Goodbye? You're handing me over to them? Don't be silly. Then why did you... Okay, boys. This is it. Stay away from the windows and shoot at anything that wags its tail. Now would be a good time for you to hide. I can help. I'd rather if you didn't. Now go. Also, he has a handprint on his face. Or head. Did you see that? I saw that. Oh, hi. Sharky. Looks like he's the only one left here. Hey there, Seafoam. I need a lift. Leave me alone, goddamn Snoop. Listen, pal. I need a lift to King's Island. We can do this the easy way. Or my way. I ain't going back there, Bear. It was a massacre. What happened? Is Amber okay? Did you take her to King's Island? Uh, who? Miss Ashward. Oh, leave me alone. I told you I ain't talking. What a night. I sailed the seven seas. And now I'm gonna get shot in the sewage canal. Why don't I come back after you've had your strawberry daiquiris or whatever? Now oh, what's that supposed to mean? Besides, my bottle got broken in the shootout. Wait, what shootout? Ugh, get lost, bear. What if I bring you something to wet that underbite of yours? Well, bring it, and we will see from there. Nice, nice eye, Den Valley. The uh, shark-shaped island. <laughs> Next stop, King's private island. Nice. It's a miracle how the boats didn't get dissolved by this toxic dump. Already too close to the water, if you ask me. Sorry, if you hear cuddling, then, then the queen is right in front of her microphone, so... <laughs> After a long day in the office, there's nothing better than a nice long fishing trip. If only I gave a damn about fishing or boats. It's really distant. I can't use it for anything. Okay, well, I guess we have some carrot juice. There you go. Uh, ah, that really hit the spot. God bless you, Bear. This is exactly what I needed. Oh, what a terrible ordeal, Bear. Okay, so you got the booze. I need you to start talking, pal. Oh, it was terrible, Bear. I took the girl over there and she told me to wait. And evidently, you <laughs> did. Why, I had to get out of there, Bear. <laughs> the place turned into a goddamn war zone. Was it the police? Aye, those crooks. I guess they wanted for King to hand them the girl. Did he? Well, I couldn't see anything, because I was running away and all. But uh, I don't think so. Listen, pal, I really need you to take me there. Aye, I'll take you there, but for a favor. That was the only bottle I had. No, King has something of mine, and I want it back. A suitcase. Sure, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> What's in the suitcase? You mind your own goddamn business, Bear. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Let's go and try not to capsize this thing. Well, who do you take me for? Ducky, old buddy. You ready? What, what the? What the? Hey. Okay. 
<gasps> the suitcase from Frames. <gasps> yes. One wobbly cab drive later. Dan Valley solved it. Still don't know what's in the suitcase though. <laughs> okay, well, I guess. Thank you. What's taking so long? This place is making me nervous. Yeah, well, you got the nerve calmer I gave you. This won't do, Bear. I'm not one to talk, but you may have a problem, pal. Yeah, hi. Hey, high school. <laughs> pineapple tree? That's one big pineapple. It's a nice wall. Credit where credit is due. Quack. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, maybe we need someone to cuddle. Yeah. We are trying to solve a mystery though. Yeah. Oh. Well then. We Well. Well, well, well. That was bad. I feel bad. You should feel bad. Oh, it got smashed good, like a pumpkin. Hmm, there seems to be a key inside. Really? Yoink! I can't go through. There's rubble blocking the entrance. Okay. Queen, no, no. Not playing with the microphone, please. Thank you. Okay, I guess the uh No, no playing with the microphone. I just I just told you. Use your tiny ears please, thank you. Okay, well main entrance it is. So you want me to hold your pausey? Is it scary? It's not scary, it's fun. Uh Well I say that but uh so, well, uh, huh. That's, um, that, that's a mess. I hope the take was worth dying for, idiots. What a massacre. It seems King's men stood their ground till the very end. Good lord. Now that's one expensive coaster, if you ask me. Who the hell is this? It's fake. There's no reason why a shark would have fresh fruit around. Hey, you might like fruit. There seems to be a loose brick in there. Hmm. Take it. Oh, another key. Hmm, a key. So many keys. So, I guess they didn't get the bigger boat. What? No clues there. Take my word for it. Okay. Hmm, I don't see any relation to our actions whatsoever. I'm not really into pottery. It's nice, I guess. I can think of a couple uses for these. Take it. I'll just keep them on me. I hope the take was worth dying for. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it gets worse! <laughs> 